It might look like a standard toilet, but it works totally differently. It doesn't flush. Molly Coy decided to install the waterless loo when building her Kawaramup home two years ago. I thought, you know, composting loo, it's going to be ugly, it's going to, you know, you think of things like deep drop um, loos in the bush, but uh, once we actually started looking at them and saw one and, and yeah, no, no problem at all. In fact, I love the look of it. According to the Water Corporation, the average person flushes 10,000 litres of water down the toilet every year. Margaret River environmental engineer Anthony Smith says more people are now turning to a greener option. It seems like such a crazy thing to do, you know, flushing drinkable uh, water down a toilet which has to be treated, um, whereas, you know, a composting toilet is saving that water, it's saving the treatment of that water and you're ending up with, with a valuable resource in the compost. Toilet waste breaks down, dries and shrinks considerably. Within six months it's composted manure, fit to fertilise the garden. You would think these toilets would smell horrible, but they don't. The excess liquid is drained out, there's a small extraction fan inside the unit, and the wood shavings that are added after each use encourage the breakdown process, preventing any would-be smells. The WA Health Department has approved more than 30 different models of composting toilets for household use, as long as the property is over a thousand square metres and unable to connect to a sewer. Mr Smith hopes educating people about these toilets will encourage them to rethink flushing away precious water. Roxanne Taylor, ABC News, Margaret River. Take that outside to compost, finish composting.